They're going 45, 50, it's wet. This means if you hit the gas too hard, you're gonna spin out. If you slam the brake, you're going to skid into someone. So you wanna roll down real easy once you go down the driveway. So I'm still looking. This car does have a uh, auto shut off. It's kind of weird. Okay, then I turn out. So that was a pretty good turn. And you see how they're drifting off the road? They're kind of in a hurry. So that's a good indication that you want to back off of them. It's in the fall, so it gets dark much earlier. And for a lot of new drivers, they're going to be panicky and nervous. So if you're taking someone out for the first time, try to drive in well-lit areas. See, they didn't stop. They just rode out of the uh, liquor store, tobacco outlet. First lane to the right is a, a smooth lane. You do have cars and trucks pulling out in front. When I'm taking students out, we go in the first lane, we go in the left lane. I try to always keep the routes changing. A route for me as an instructor, I don't know if you know this, it could be a three mile loop, five mile loop, 10 mile loop, where we're making four right turns, four left turns. Hey, you just got your license. That is so great. Or your permit. I'm so happy to hear that. So I'm scanning the intersection because I'm not sure what this truck's doing. And intersectors are the most dangerous place. So I, I read one of the comments of it. You just got your license or your permit. Yes. And then you want to start driving safely. Drive in the evening. Drive to school. Drive to college. You know, drive to a downtown area. Like for instance, these cars, I don't want to tailgate, so I'm lifting my foot off the brake a little bit, and I've lost six miles an hour. 